Yeah, yeah here with Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of Fame boxer, uh, Oscar hey, De La Hoya. First of all, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, what do you make of a rehydration clause? I, this, this is news to me. I knew there was a catch weight, but there's a rehydration clause. Is there any concern for you as far as that uh, for your fighter? No concern whatsoever. Um, both fighters are, are professionals. Both fighters have been waiting for this fight for a long time. And so the fact that they've already been training, the weight is down on Ryan Garcia, on Tank Davis. They're professionals. So there's, there's no issue whatsoever. Um, it's uh, sometimes standard uh, to have some kind of clause like that in a contract, but um, we, we strongly feel that both fighters will have no issues whatsoever. There's rumors that uh, William Zapata is going to be on the undercard. Any word on who is he going to fight and is uh, a possible PBC opponent, uh, is that a possibility or are you looking for somebody more in-house? We've, uh, we've been talking about William Zapata. Uh, there's nothing uh, set in stone yet. Uh, we're not announcing any undercard fights uh, at the moment, but uh, I can assure you one thing that both Golden Boy and PBC are working uh, together to give uh, the pay-per-view fans uh, the, the best card possible. Okay, so, so, since you won't mention the name specifically, will some of your undercards fight be, uh, you know, PBC and Golden Boy fighters against each other? We, we are currently working on logistics. Um, the contract does state uh, uh, making one fight together. We are in constant contact every single day to, to, to make that happen. Um, we will announce shortly, but uh, I can assure you one thing, we do, uh, we do have a fighter by the name of uh, Floyd Schofield who will be on the, uh, on the undercard. He's a, uh, a fighter that uh, is a future star and we want to showcase him on the biggest fight uh, of the year.